Andy Shandibal has a report. Today was the end of an era in Berkeley, and many people who live on Dwight Way near campus are glad that era is over. It happened peacefully. Security guards and sheriff's deputies asked the 17 squatters to leave. They did. And then workers quickly came in and boarded the old place up. Barrington has a long and controversial history. Founded in 1933 by a student housing cooperative that also runs more than a dozen other buildings, Barrington began attracting a counterculture crowd in the 1960s. For the past seven years, some neighbors have complained of drug dealing, wild parties, nudity, and vulgar graffiti. Well, I often described it as Animal House, but instead of 30 people, you've got 180 people, and instead of booze, you've got drugs. It's still a problem. Barrington would be fine if it was in the middle of the Nevada desert. But Barrington is in an otherwise uh, quiet community that's trying to be quiet. The general manager of the student co-op says the co-op has been trying to close Barrington for years because the cost of fighting lawsuits from neighbors and maintenance on the building has gotten prohibitive. But up until today, residents have managed to stay by filing lawsuits of their own. This is a really valuable thing. Um, most people, I think, aren't really aware of what the community is going to be losing when this place closes down. I think a lot of political groups have started from Barrington. People should have the freedom in their own home to and act however they want. None of the parties that we ever had here were any more out of control than any fraternity party, any dorm party that I've ever been to. But last month, one party was noisy enough to attract police, and it escalated into a near riot. Rocks, bricks, police batons, and fires. Ever since, eviction has Come seemed imminent. And according to the caretaker Come here, residents have taken out their frustrations on the building. Uh, at about midnight, they went up on the roof, uh, excuse me, went onto the third floor and started throwing our furniture out the window, and then methodically walked around with sticks breaking windows. Residents who left today told us they were tired of bucking heads with cops who wear helmets. Now the student co-op has to decide what to do with Barrington Hall. They could rehabilitate it and convert it to some other kind of student housing, but that would take almost a $1 million investment. The other alternative is to sell it. Sell it as a fixer-upper. In Berkeley, Randy Shandabel for the 10 o'clock news.